Grant joins us now with a look at the traffic this morning. A potential system could threaten a part of Mexico this week. Yeah, it's possible, you know, a 40% chance that we see some development with this thing. Uh, not a huge concern really for any real development. Let's go ahead and head over to the maps here. We'll take a look at what we're talking about. Uh, we're going to see these showers and storms that continue over the southwestern Gulf of, or not Gulf of Mexico, Western Caribbean, but the, the Atlantic relatively quiet. We've got a lot of Saharan dust pushing out over the Atlantic this morning, but you can see a lot of thunderstorm activity across Central America, certainly back just south of Mexico. That's a tropical storm. More on that in just a second, but this now invest invest 93 L is uh, just off of the east southeast coast of uh, Honduras there. This is going to track to the north and then back up to the north and west. Uh, anywhere within that hashed area is where we could see that development into a tropical storm or maybe maybe a, just a tropical depression if it even develops farther off towards the west though a couple of areas of potential development in the eastern Pacific along with tropical storm Blas, which is still forecast to become a hurricane as it tracks to the north and west away from land but even though we don't have any threats here it's a good time to download the 10 Tampa Bay app you get tropical updates severe weather updates as well as all the news and weather information that you could want you can go ahead and just take your phone right now point it at the screen in that QR code and it will take you right to where you can download the app